And uh, first of all, I want to send my condolences to the families who have lost, lost their loved ones. I don't want to repeat what uh, our go governor nominee has said. <clears throat> all I want to add is uh, that uh, this is a very sorry situation. As he has narrated, it is not the first time we have lost life. The 10 he mentioned, uh, both in Isiolo North and South. And our worry is the lack of intervention from the government. And I'm not shying away from saying this because we've really tried our level best. Starting from even yesterday when this incident happened, I so happened to be within the vicinity. It was so shocking that the security <coughs> apparatus on the ground were, not, were even denying the incident as uh, late as around nine. Well, the information reached at around uh, six in the morning. It is upon our government now to provide some temporary relief in terms of providing some support to these families so that the kids who are in school, the widows, their needs can be taken care of. And this has happened at a very difficult time for us as Muslims. We have just begun our fasting season. For a long time now, every time such things happen in Isiolo, you never hear even a word of condolences. So the question in our mind is, are we not Kenyans? Okay? That is really what we, are, we want an answer. Because that is the answers the, the, the citizens of Isiolo are seeking from us as their leaders. And I think we are seeking that from the, the big uh, the leadership and even the Kenyans to tell us whether really we are part of this Kenya. Mine is just to echo what our colleagues have said. But for mitigation measures, the government must actually give assistance to actually those people who have died to give to be compensated. And the ones actually who have been injured, their medical bills actually to be bailed out. Secondly, security is very important. At this time of election, already you know voter uh, inspection is ongoing. If there's problem of insecurity, usually uh, the movement of people actually being hampered. And you find that you know the activities of the electoral commission is being hampered, and our people could not even not get you know the services you know they need. As we are now approaching the elections, if such thing is not going to be prevented, more will come. 